Hey guys, John with Alfred Homesteading. Just getting the day started. Today is January the 30th, 2018. Uh, it's about 33 degrees, 33.1 outside, but that's actually with the sun on the sensor, so it's probably a couple degrees less than that. 64 degrees inside here. It's kind of our rough sketch of um, our building plans for the, for the pads. So anyway, this uh, first beam is going to go over it's going to go over between the first and the second pad. The second beam, the 16 footer, is actually going to overlap and then we're going to have lag bolts coming in uh, holding these two beams and stuff here together. We decided not to um, not to go ahead and put these extra, you know, actual dig them and do concrete on them. We're actually going to dig and do the first, I mean, where they actually overlap. So the first one, the second one, the fifth one, the sixth one. First, second, fifth, and sixth, because this is going to span 16 feet. Or, yeah, that's right. We will put bricks in here you know, on, the, on the ground and then shim it up just so that we have a little bit more support, but I'm not going to uh, dig the pads because we'd estimated about two bags of concrete for each one of these. And this one and this one took five and a half uh, bags each. And then this one down here and this one down here took seven bags of concrete each just because the forms were above the ground. It's probably going to take the same for here and so on. So. Uh, we got 28 more bags of concrete plus the uh, 12 we have left, so 42 bags. So 42 bags of concrete to do with this pad. 28 plus 12 is 30. 28 plus 14 oh, it's 42. is 42. Um, so we're going to do this pad, this pad, this pad, this pad, the one that goes here, and the one that goes there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six times seven bags of concrete, that's 42. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at our pads and see how they turned out. Pretty darn good to me. Pretty good to me too. All right. Where is it? There it is. Good. That one looks pretty good too. Okay, so the six pads that we're going to uh, excavate today one, two, Three, is it? four, five, six. Looks like it needs hydraulic fluid to keep going. Then it needed gas. Our build's gonna kind of been put off a little bit because of upkeep issues. Which is a pain in the butt. Thank goodness for Ed coming and helping us and knowing what in the world to do. all this rocky soil, I mean. 
Everything takes longer on the homestead. So up here on the homestead, we're really rocking it today. Thank goodness for Ed. He's helping us out tremendously. The three holes on this side have been filled. Now they're working on the three holes on the other side.
So honey, it looks like you got a lot done. A lot of work. My back hurts. Oh. Lifting up bags of concrete is hard on your back. 50 pounds is pretty light at the beginning of the day. I feel about 100 pounds middle of the day and about 200 pounds by the end. <laughs> so, looks like he concreted in one set of bricks. We just did one set and then everything is going to be uh, leveled off of this or squared. So you have room. These are going to be set and then we level from this set of bricks to the next set of bricks or cinder blocks. Uh huh. And then we level this way, then we level this way. And then it comes back down to this one? Yep. So that's where we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to pour. Uh, put the ne next set of bricks on uh, concrete. Oh my God, center blocks this way because the beams are heading this direction. Uh huh. And then um, we're gonna actually take uh, concrete and uh, mix up more concrete, pour them into the cinder blocks, um, and then we're gonna go get uh, 16 uh, straps. We're actually gonna put six inches into the concrete that'll tie our beam this direction and then tie our joists to the concrete. So we're gonna have much, much. Hey, where are you guys going? Teddy, you guys stay here. Uh, so our wind load factor is gonna, I don't know exactly how much it goes up, if you know uh, how to factor that. I mean, we've got these, this rebar going in the ground at least two more feet past the four inches of concrete here. These are about four and a half, five feet long. Uh, same thing over there. But if you know that answer, love to know what kind of wind load that we have off of our uh, off of the building. But then uh, this spot here, these are the spots where the eight footers are going to uh, meet and the 16 footers are going to continue. And then we decided uh, there's going to we're going to put a central pad here instead of the two um, because from this mark right here to this mark over here. This is where the tub's going to be in the new plans. The first plans I looked at, the tub was down at the end over there, um, but you decided you wanted to have the bigger bedroom, smaller bathroom. Bigger bedroom, smaller bathroom. So the tub is right here. So having a having um, concrete blocks right in this spot will support the tub. And then the other uh, heavy spot is going to be right here. Uh, eight feet off the edge of the building. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the center point right here at the edge of this block. Uh, this pad is where the wood stove is going to be right here, like this. Mm -hmm. So that pad is going to be supporting the wood stove. We might put some more bricks right there. But outside of that, we're just having a central point here, center point, so center point right here, center point right here, center point right there of center blocks to support between our two pads. Okay. So and that this, takes care of our, our... And this pad here takes care of our tub, um, and those two pads take care of the other major... The beams holding yeah. them up. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm freezing. You're freezing, you're shaking the camera. I know. So, Ed's coming back tomorrow. Oh, in the sun there. Um, Ed's going to come back tomorrow. We're going to finish squaring off the corner posts. Uh, we're going to get the beans on, and then we're going to try to um, lag bolt those together. And then the following day, we'll put the joists on, and I'll be ready to start putting decking. Awesome. Progress on the homestead. <sighs> Yay! How many hours are you working this today? It's 10 o'clock. From about uh, when we started? Well, after you finally figured out that you needed to jump the backhoe, well, get gas in it, and, and we, hydraulic fluid. <laughs> yeah, after all those things, it took us like we had to do eight minutes. So about 11.30 you started. Okay, and what time is it now? I well, have no idea, but I am cold. It's about four-ish, based on the sun. Okay, well tell them bye, honey, because I can't goodbye. hold anymore. She's freezing. Bye. Shaking, make it. Then you're going to complain about it being shaky. Uh-huh, bye. Right, bye.